just like we do with fractions. What if we can do something similar to decimals? Is there a way to eliminate decimals by using another clever trick? So I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds to think about that. What number, is there a number that maybe I can multiply both sides through that will eliminate the fractions? Well, I notice that I have a decimal of 0 0.3 and 0.37. So to eliminate this decimal, that's in the 100 spot. So maybe what I'm gonna do is multiply both sides by 100. And let's see what happens. Uh, since these are all products, I can do 100 times to 0 0.03, so this just becomes 100 times, that's 100, 0 0.03 times, I'll just use parentheses, either x minus 6, equals 100 times this first term, because I'm going to distribute it to both terms. So I have 100 times 0.37x minus 100 times 1.1. Doing that, I think I had enough terms that all my decimals disappear. So 100 times 0.3 is a 30. 100 times a 0.37x is a 37x minus 100 times 1.1, that gives me 110. Hey, yeah, all the, all the decimals are gone. Now I can deal with this problem. All right, let's distribute the 30 across. So I have a 30 times an x minus a 30 times a six, which is 180. And then I have 37x minus 110. Collect my variables on one side, so let's add or let's subtract a negative 30 from this side, and let's add 110 from this side. Some of you guys might be going, well, Willie, can't we just do kind of those both at the same time? We can if we're very, very clear what's happening. So here's what I mean by that. I know I'm going to subtract 30x from this side, so let's 30x take away a 30x. And I'm going to do that on the other side too. So I have 37x take away a 30x. I'm also going to add, since I want my constants on this time, I'm also going to add 110 to both sides. So I'm going to add, so if I have my minus 110 there, so let's add 110. And in order to do that, I need to add 110 to the other side. So really, I'm kind of doing both steps at the same time. For some of you, this might be a little confusing. For others, if you want to do that, you have my permission to do both at the same time. Let's clean it up and see what we have. X's are gone from this side. I have a negative 180 plus 110 remaining. That produces a negative, or a negative 70. Left with 37x minus 6x, or minus 30x, which is a 7x, minus 110 plus 110, gone. From there, isolate the variable. Not the variable term is already isolated. Let's isolate the variable. And then I'm left with x equals negative 10. And there's my solution to this problem that started out with just ugly decimals but we found a clever way to get around that. And I think you guys with practice, you will be able to see those as well, but it's going to require practice. 